So hello everyone and welcome. My name is Tim Stoddard. I work at SoCreate and this is how to supercharge your Angular development workflow. So let's start with a problem. Raise your hand if you've ever worked on an Angular app with more than 100 components, directives, services, pipes, all that kind of stuff. So most of us. So yeah, so we're pretty used to working with large Angular applications. And a common frustration that you might run into is when you want to make just small changes or iterative changes to a single component, um, but you, know, you have to reload your app every single time you make a change. And it can become very tedious to work on components. You know, what if you want to demo just a single component? What if you have a you know, component with a whole bunch of different states? Do you have to test those every single time you make a change? That might make you feel kind of frustrated, like Mr. Bean here. So we at SoCreate came up with a solution to this problem, and we call it Angular Playground. Angular Playground utilizes something called scenario-driven development, in which you can sandbox individual components so that you can mock out all your dependencies just like in a unit test, and you don't have to worry about loading your entire application, you're just loading the single component that you're working on so you can focus on that. And that allows you to develop each component in isolation. Pretty cool. So clearly this can lead to some benefits. Uh, first off, we increase our development productivity because it's a lot faster to iterate changes while we're developing a component. We can run each component in isolation and not have to worry about all the, the rest of the app working. We can view each component in all the possible states it might be in um, without having to run the application. And we can also create a living style guide um, as we're developing our application. So, pretty cool. So the Playground API is relatively simple. There's two main configurations to know about. The first is for the sandbox, and the sandbox is a file per component that you create. And so what you do um, for the sandbox configuration, you pass it a type, which is the component itself, and then you also pass it a configuration, which is basically you're creating a custom module to use in that sandbox, similar to what you'd see in a unit test, because you're only including exactly what that component needs to run and nothing more. Then there's also a scenario config. And so the scenario is basically for each state of your component. Um, it, it provides a template that includes the, the component, some context, which is all the JavaScript bindings that you'll use in the template. You can also provide any custom styles or custom providers per scenario. And that's not all. Playground has some other handy features like build system integration. There's a built-in error checker in Playground so that it'll, it'll run through all of your sandbox scenarios and check for any console errors. And if there are, you can output those to a JSON file or an XML file to integrate with your build system. There's also an embed mode so you can embed scenarios into an iframe, for example, if you wanted to use it in a style guide like I mentioned. And also we've made it really easy to use Playground by adding um, an ng add schematic and ng generate schematics for both installing Playground initially and then generating a new sandbox file when you create a component. How about that? So now I'll show you a quick demo of a sandbox that's actually in our application that we're working on at SoCreate. So this here is the sandbox file. So as you can see, this should look kind of familiar. We have sandbox of, we pass it the component, the avatar component, and so here we create our custom module. As you can see, we're just importing a few things because that's all that this component needs to run. And then we add our scenarios. So for each scenario, we give it a name, and then as I mentioned before, we give it template, context, styles, and we just add a whole bunch of different scenarios. And so then we could run Playground, and it runs locally on, the, on our machine, and here I have it running. And so what we can do, we can easily just search for the component by name, so avatar, avatar component, and then we can just click through all the different scenarios and see them right in the playground. So this is great for when you're initially developing the component, you don't have to throw it up in your app first. You can develop it all in playground and make sure that it works in every possible scenario that it might show up in in your app. And so then when you do use it in your app, then you don't have to worry about any surprises because you already know that it works. And it's great for also when you come back to it six months later to change something, you can make sure that you're not breaking one of the states that you forgot to test because all the different scenarios are saved right in your sandbox file for you. So,
Thank you for watching my presentation. If you have any questions or you want to see more demos, see me after the show, or I'll be at the Playground booth all day. So thank you. <laughs>